Hello and welcome to Nemo's News. So last August uh, there was a pub in the Midlands called the Crooked Inn, uh, the wonkiest pub in Britain. Uh, and it had been there for quite a long time, since about the 17th century, I believe. And it was sold. It was sold to a particular company. And uh, let me just see, I'll just get the information right. It was first built in 1765 as a farmhouse and mining in the early 19th century caused subsidence, which caused it to be uh, wonky and crooked. Uh, anyway, fast forward to 2023 and the pub was sold. Now, you know, I'm not going to I'm not going to sort of name specifics, but if you go to Google, you can discover the why's and the wherefores. Now, I'm going to read from the BBC website. Uh, the owners of the Crooked House pub have been ordered to rebuild Britain's wonkiest inn after it was destroyed in a suspected arson attack. South Staffordshire Council has served an enforcement notice on the owners of the pub in Himley near Dudley, which is in the, West, in the Midlands. The council said it had engaged with the owners since the demolition, but had reached a point where formal action was considered necessary. It requires the building to be built back to what it was prior to the fire. Um... Leader of South Staffordshire Council, Roger Lees, said a huge amount of time and resources have been put into investigating the unauthorised demolition of the Crooked House. Now, basically what happened was it was sold. And then a few days later, after being there since, uh, was it 1765, what did I just say? Uh, oh, I did say it just now. Anyway, after being there for a few hundred, 1765, the 18th century and after being there for all that time just a few days after it was sold abracadabra it catches fire and it burns down and abracadabra uh, in the lane uh, on the approach road to the pub there'd been mounds of soil uh, dumped in the lane um, and of course this hampered the efforts of the fire brigade uh, significantly uh, because you know you can't get a fire engine over a great big mound of soil so unfortunately by the time the fire brigade people got there the firefighters got there the pub was basically a gutted shell and then in a further cruel twist of fate for the unfortunate new owners the the pub had to be demolished within I think it was two days later so they've gone from buying a pub that's been there since 1765 to accidentally catching fire, to accidentally having the access route blocked to the fire brigade. I mean, these are all unfortunate circumstances. And then it's just, you know, basically got to be demolished. Um, and an uproar in the local area was significant. It has made national news and, you know, it has been, people have been quite rightly outraged because what's going to end up on that plot of land it's going to be houses it's going to be a new development they're going to fix the subsidence the mining problems you know all the associated problems that come along with that and then abracadabra they're going to sell the land and then they're going to make a lot of money and you know and the trouble is uh, there's too much of this goes on in the united kingdom in great britain there's too much of it too much happens where oh abracadabra I mean, it happens in my own town. There's um, a housing development wanted to be developed. Uh, you know, a new housing estate. Oh, we can't because there's nightingales. We'll relocate them. Because, of course, as we all know, nightingales don't fly, do they? They don't fly home to where they were. We, we'll relocate them to one county over. Um, and then they'll basically napalm the whole area. Um... You know, they'll nail palm, nail palm the whole area, destroy the habitat and everything in it, and then say, well, look, there's no nightingales there now, so it's all right, isn't it? And that's what happens. There's too much of this goes on in this, this country of ours. There's too much corruption. There's too many accidents where, 
Oh, we didn't realise there was a rare endangered species on this site of special scientific interest that's been there for a million years. We didn't realise, oh, what a shame, never mind. Seeing as it's not there anymore, we might as well continue with what we was going to do. And and it never. And I've got to take my hat off to South Staffordshire Council for taking this matter and addressing it and getting this pub. I mean, the pub's an idea in or there, to me anyway. Um, it's the fact that these people get away with it. These these property owners and these landowners and these these developers, they just get away with it. They get away with it all the time. Um, and there's there's just far too much of it happening. Far too much. It goes on far too frequently. And, and it really does annoy me. But in this instance, South Staffordshire Council have got an enforcement order that has got to be rebuilt within three years. Now, the new owners are allowed, of course, an appeal. So this could probably drag out for the next eight million years because that's what happens. The appeals process and, and it takes time. I just hope that the, the council involved will see this through to the, the bitter end and really just persevere with it. You know, because everybody's on their side. Everybody decent is on their side. Uh, and, and like I say, you know, this this pub that accidentally catches fire just a, just a few days after it's been sold and repurchased. Oh, isn't it a shame? Oh, what an unfortunate accident. Do you know what I mean? A series of unfortunate events. All right, lemony snicket. Do you know what I mean? It's just too much of it goes on in this country. There's too many brand envelopes changing hands. There's too much corruption, especially when it comes to property and development. There's just far too much of it. And I'm glad that they've there's been an enforcement order for this pub to be rebuilt how it was. In the article I've just read, I have set up a Google alert, by the way, just so I can keep abreast of this story. Uh, in the article I've just read, there was a quite a prominent architect. I can't remember what his name is now. Steve and somebody. And he said, yes, it is technically possible to rebuild this this crooked house to exactly how it was but it is going to take time it is a complicated build because the ha the house was built the pub was built as a farmhouse then there was subsidence then they fortified it with buttresses then it subsided further and then they made it safe again and you know so while it is possible it is going to be a a bit of a tricky tricky thing to do so you know there's 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 that to think of but I hope that this this pub is rebuilt and these the the owners realize that they can't just ride roughshod over you know proper procedure and planning and you know and to act, have it demolished within two days all of a sudden the soil for the access road is gone after the fire brigade couldn't get in and then you know the soil the mounds of soil that have been accidentally tipped in the in the lane have all gone so that they can take in excavators on trucks and stuff. Oh yeah, look, well, yeah, I mean, I don't know, we can get a truck in there now with a with a big bulldozer on it. So, oh, you know, all these, it's pantomime um, oh, look what's happened now. Oh, isn't it a shame? Oh, never mind, we might as well demolish it. And I even read a story of uh, local residents uh, standing vigil at the site of the wreckage on the, the debris site, guarding the bricks and everything, so that, you know, and calling in reinforcements if anybody, uh, you know, with uh, nefarious ideas turned up. So congratulations to the residents of that area and the council um, for, for taking a stand and saying, no, you're not gonna get away with it. You're not, we're not having it. You can rebuild it. And that's that, that's the way it is. Uh, as I've got a Google alert set up on it, there will be more on this news story uh, as they come through. Uh, thank you very much for tuning into Nemo's News and I'll catch you on the next one.